Y'all, before we get into today's episode, I would like to have a moment of silence for Sasha. Y'all, to commemorate her and to send her on her way, I think everybody, yeah you nigga, go get a potato and let's eat it on 10. Hey, this motherfucking potato tougher than you think. But what's good, y'all? It's your boy Dak the Mac, and welcome back to the channel. If you're new, hit that subscribe button right now. Y'all, yeah, man, at this point, I might have to change my name from Dak the Mac to Negro Domus. Because I knows it all. I knew that, man, I'm sorry, Mike, but I knew that Zeke, bro, I knew it. I've been calling it, nigga. He's, he had to be the most sus nigga in sus nigga history. He, how did you, at this point, I'm on my perch. Like, how did anybody not know it, man? Negro Domus, if you need your futures read or some shit, DM me on Twitter. I got you. But y'all, it seemed like Aaron done fucked up. This nigga involved the scouts, and they weren't even supposed to be there. Why? Why put these niggas' lives in harm's way? Because what the fuck was the real plan? How was... What, it was just supposed to be Aaron and Armin? Like... Why would you do that? Sasha did. But y'all done did enough talking, man. Make sure you like that video. Man, that shit is like getting energy for the spirit bomb. Please give me energy. <laughs> but y'all, before we get into this episode, the two brothers are working together, nigga. Zeke and Eric, that shit, that's crazy. That's something niggas dreamed would have happened in a what if reality. That shit just, man. Let's check it out right about now. Let's get it, baby. Mm, this Armin. Mm -hmm. So he must be talking to Aaron. Oh, so this must be the crew they sent there that never came back. <laughs> and this is his first time seeing that. This nigga just carried the Thai fucking Tannic. What do you do if you are these niggas? Oh, oh this nigga's a snitch. That nigga's a snitch. Y'all niggas just got carried in a boat. There's nothing you can do. <laughs> Did you forget? The fuck you think the ship was moving by? <laughs> what happened? Who won? Who shot him? <sighs> fucking traitor. A fucking traitor. And they weren't expecting that. Volunteer. Mm. So they cooperated and they started snitching. Mm. Mm. Nigga was taking it serious all from the start. So without this motherfucker, they wouldn't have known how to handle guns. A nigga? Bro. This is the first nigga in Attack on Titan history, in Black History Month! Without these niggas snitching, they wouldn't have been prepared. Mm -hmm. So they wouldn't know how to handle the... Mm. So, actually, the Pier Titans have been helping these niggas. <laughs> yes, you see they're proficient in killing the motherfuckers. Hey, Levi ain't trusting shit. He ain't trusting a damn thing. Bro, she really came in and gave these niggas the scoop. These niggas owe their war strategy to her. Mm. 
So Marley pissed in their countries too. Bro, the beast titan look like a god in this light. Oh, that's crazy. That's crazy. Cause I'm like, damn, they got this nigga looking like a JoJo character, bro. So this nigga Zeke got motherfuckers admiring him. I mean, this is expected, you know, opposition. Zeke did do some killing, man. This nigga Zeke had his lawyer send him paperwork. The founding titan and royal. So does this nigga want the founding titan? And this nigga met his brother's mother. That shit's just so fucking crazy, bro. You want to activate the rumbling nigga? Historia be a powerful ass motherfucker though. These niggas like, you gonna really listen to him? Mm. Volunteers. So he calling Zeke and them volunteers. Well, she. Our boat ran aground. <laughs> Setting motherfuckers up. Oh my god. This the ultimate betrayal. Oh my god. To have your own niggas do this to you though? Oh my god. <laughs> Look at this nigga. <sighs> to have your own niggas do this to you? <laughs> oh man. That's crazy. This nigga arming whole purpose is to just be a bomb now. A, a, an intimidation. That's crazy that Armin's character is the most destructive, bro. They gave him the most destructive titan, bro. Because he a nigga. What's the problem? Mmm, a god. Or a devil. Niggas live by the sea and they never had seafood. <laughs> Seeing her eat like that is so fucking crazy to watch. You know how fucking strong her teeth gotta be? <sighs> Bro, these dudes from Marley was really flipping, man. Without them flipping, none of this could be possible. Aaron is not playing, bro. He is focused. <laughs> this nigga say, don't make me push the big red button. The rumbling. Bro, Armin is such a pacifist. He has the colossal titan. Yo, this nigga Aaron's like, fuck them. They don't care about us. Uh, this nigga Aaron, he's not playing, bro. He must be talking to Aaron. All to himself. Mm. She at a people's grave? Oh, the mother. Mm. Bro, this nigga Niccolo is really he done really flipped mm. and this is a nigga from marley who cares so much about sasha damn to see how these sides are interacting bro and how it's so complex it's you know she had love for the chef man they were that close like twins that's crazy Mm. Now, this is actually sadder than last episode, bro. This shit really sad, bro. He said, come taste what your daughter loved so much. Bro, this nigga Zeke is really riding around. Wow. <laughs> and Levi, he's not giving him an inch. 
Zeke like, yeah, yeah, okay, nigga, whatever. <laughs> so he has never met Eren? He hasn't met Eren yet. The tension from them two niggas? From it. Right. From Without them, they would still be ignorant, bro. They still got the fucking guns on them, though, bro. <laughs> so Zeke is on his way to get locked up. So there's still fucking tension, bro. They put him in house arrest in the forest in case he transforms. Oh, my God. Wow. And they beat these kids' asses. She's a little errant now. She's a little errant. It's so crazy. I, and I said, how the fuck does Armin feel, bro? The most sensitive nigga had to walk on people's backs, bro. That's how you got. He's talking to fucking Annie. He's fucking talking to Annie. This nigga Aaron, bro. We can't win if we don't fight. This nigga said that was just a hard day at the office. Wow. No previews. No, no. I honestly don't know how else to fucking say it. Attack on Titan is so damn good. It doesn't need action even though we had aaron carrying the titanic what that's crazy his titan's that fucking strong he picked up a damn uh, uh, what was that a yacht uh this is i don't even know how to describe the size of that motherfucker that military navy sized ass ship and you just toss it crazy but let's talk about the dynamic on the island right it's not a bunch of Kumbaya's like we first thought it was gonna be right when we seen that um they had said that the Marley soldiers had you know kind of assimilated into the island's way of living and they became from the enemy to just soldiers to people but then you get they still got guns drawn out on them right Yelena 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 even though her and Onion Compo right our uh, nigga, even, even though they gave them very vital information, these niggas are still choosing to sleep with one eye open. Look at it. They got motherfucking Levi guard dogging. <sighs> guard dogging Zeke, bro. Got this nigga. And, and it's so ironic. Zeke's Titan looks like a monkey, right? The Beast Titan. But they said, yeah, we're going to put you out here with all these trees in case we got to come slinging and slice your ass, right? It's still that, all right, we we got you niggas. Appreciate you for helping us, but man, uh, we ain't taking no chances. This nigga Levi like, nah, I ain't doing it. But Aaron has been focused from the start, man. You see when he's at target practice, he like, man, hell, we got to fight to win. We got to fight to win. It's either them or us, okay? This episode was so good to digest, bro. Armin is talking to Annie. Armin is talking to Annie. And I'm like, is he, who, who is he talking to? Is he talking to Aaron? I see he got the magic damn conch shell and shit. Is he talking to Aaron? He is talking to Annie, bro. And I was like, damn, this nigga talking to himself. <sighs> Attack on Titan is so goddamn, it's a constantly evolving show. It just gets better and better, not because it's more action, the more it is, it just becomes more sophisticated to like, look at each side of the spectrum, man. You got the Marleyan Eldians, 
you got Niccolo caring about si just we're like twins it's nuts man it's it's just crazy and hearing Yelena talk about the beast titan like he's the god what these niggas admiring Zeke like that they damn they're worshiping him oh yo attack on titan is uh what 10 out of 10 every fucking week bro the show will wow you in so many different ways, man. Like, I will go on a tangent. I will rant about this right now. I, I it, will, it will be a controlled rant. Like, we'll we be on the same street, but it won't be no stopping. Attack on Titan is so fucking good, bro. I give this episode a 10 out of 10. Because, like I said in the beginning, bro, this nigga said, let me meet Aaron. Levi ain't letting him meet Aaron. They let this nigga go through the city, though. Right? They let him go through the city, but I guess, hmm, could they have just dropped him off when they got back? Why take the chance to let him go through the city if you don't trust Zeke that much? I don't know, bro. I don't know. But y'all, man, Attack on Titan is good as fuck all the damn time. It's me, your boy, Dak the Mac. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button right now, baby. Y'all, also, don't forget to hit the like button. <sighs> Big announcement soon, y'all. Big announcement soon.